Hello and welcome back to Cisco Knowledge Base. This is Zach from Content Security Team. Today we'll be covering uh, Cisco Advanced Malware Protection, which is the M, in addition with the thread grid integration on Web Security Appliance. So with the release 8.8 .8 build 033, the new functionality has been added to support for advanced malware protection with the thread grid appliance that can do uh, a public cloud support and also the uh, private cloud support. So the functionality for the user guide will be reside at the Cisco portal and same thing with the advanced malware protection thread gear functionality and detail will be listed on the Cisco portal as well. This is the first link where the all the end user guide um, will be available once this uh, functionality is available for larger customer base. That will be the permanent home for it. And as far as the advanced malware protection detail, um, this is the Cisco external page where it describes in detail the functionality um, and services that it provides. In addition, it also provides the AMP thread grid um, proactive with the malware support overview as well uh, in detail. So these are the two links that are included here will be um, uh, included in the user guide as well. So this topic I have divided in a couple of sections, one for the private cloud and one for the public cloud. The first one is for the configuring the web, configuring the web security appliance with the public cloud. From the GUI on the web security appliance, we'll go under anti-malware from security services and editing global setting that's where the advanced setting for the file analysis will reside you can take a look at it so we'll go under security services anti-malware protection edit global setting so these are the file type is currently supported for file repetition and then file analysis as we see the PDF, XML, Microsoft and then executable in kind for the DOS and here under advanced for this is for the file uh, repetition which is today's covered with the advanced malware protection the advanced setting for file analysis there is a private cloud and there is a public cloud so first one this is the public cloud that is listed for um, a gateway here so that serves multiple servers in the back end and these are the file analysis can uh, file are loaded for the analysis on the cloud directly and provide results so this is the, the public cloud that's what the screenshot shows here for the advanced setting for the file analysis and this is the public cloud up here. The second option which is the on-premise uh, that is referred to as a private cloud where customer environment will host in a thread grid appliance locally configured and that will be served as a local cloud for the environment. Config for that part is, is, in, is involved a um, few more steps than, uh, than the uh, public cloud. From the GUI, same place, anti-malware protection and you go under advanced setting, file analysis we'll pick this time from the drop down we'll pick a private cloud that's where we end up um, configuring our Thread grid appliance server's IP or the host name, um, so DNS is properly set up. Then it requires a server's um, a certificate. So the first step is over here. So from the drop down, instead of public cloud, we pick a private cloud. We enter the host name for the server, and then certificate. This is a certificate that is 
being uh, received from the thread grid appliance itself. So if we look at it here, on the thread grid, thread grid appliance, IP address or the host name under SSL key, it gives you an option for this. This certificate download here and it will require, once you download it, and point that file to it and upload it here. And that's where this certificate is, it shows. Once that part is done, this is the shows on step three, how to upload that certificate, pretty straightforward pointing to it and upload. Once this certificate has been uploaded, it requires in step three or section three that I have listed is configuring the Threadgird appliance to register. So now we can have a multiple web security appliance or email security appliances with the cloud Threadgrid. We need to register these for file analysis. To do that, here's the URL that I posted here. Here's the page that's what it requires to enter your full name, email address, and we can have multiple machine ID. The machine ID, uh, base machine ID, and machine ID too. So these machine IDs are located once you upload the certificates, the file analysis client ID. SD ID will be loaded up there. Once you hit submit, it brings you um, an option that is added and after that it requires to activate those allow WSA or ESA on a thread grid appliance so once again we log into our thread grid appliance host name or IP address we go into manage users we locate the key login and the key that we uploaded and that's what uh, listed here. You will see the login user listed. Here you will also see the file analysis client ID listed as we just uploaded from the appliance into Threadgrid. Once we do that, it will show the hyperlink, one of these. It will show initially on the first time registration, it will show deactivated. We'll simply click on reactivate this user. User detail will be reflect here and we can fill out and we'll do a walkthrough. And this is the alert in step seven is sent out if we have our alert configured on web security appliance or email security appliance. This is just a sample notification it was done. It will show the async OS version and generic message this has been completed. So let's go walk through that then we'll look at the access logs and AMP logs. So log into the home and then welcome screen manage users. So in this example here there are several machines they are registered here. By looking at these keys this is a machine that um, I have registered so it will give you an option to once you upload the key your email address and this is the field that you title generic I edited the Cisco tag you click on the login page that brings you onto the activation page now since I already have activated initially it will see in our text notes it will just say reactivate user. All the other options are listed here as well. So once you activated this, here are the key, the name, the title, that these are descriptive, can be added, and the email address. And you can update that and hit update if need to be changed here. So this part is goes through it when you submit if sent you an alert if you have email alert notification under system administration is configured. 
this is it referring to. And that functionality has not changed. So system administration alert. And here, my all my notification, if I have these notification enabled, in this case the anti-malware is the one it sends out the notification out. Okay. So these are the AMP log. This AMP log being generated once you register. If it's successfully attached to the cloud, it will give you these file types of file analysis. These are the exact file type what we saw on in the GUI. And these can be changed. So for example, security services and to malware protection. reputation rather. these are the file type listed here so once you enable this you can you have as an administrator have an option we can disable some of them if need be or we can enable all so they were listed here which file type are enabled for analysis once it's registered it will show file analysis services initiated successfully same messages <clears throat> this is an example of a file uh, test.pdf that has been loaded and if the file has been loaded on the amp lock you will get an alert file uploaded for analysis and there will be a SHA value attached to it and this SHA value will show on the report under file analysis in the GUI now, once this file is uploaded for analysis, there's a subsequent task they require that logs into the AMP log is file analysis is complete. Once it's completed, or if it errors out, it will be listed here. But this is the working example. Once you upload it and analysis complete, you should see that for each file is uploaded for that analysis on the thread grid. There's one more example under access log entry. We will log it, which shows if the file is clean. So in this time is CL underscore virus four, and this everything is is good here. The scan did not return any virus. In a suspicious file, the highlighted area infected with the virus active, and the name of the virus will be listed here. So this automatically would be blocked by um, the cloud, either the public or the private. So some of the troubleshooting um, basically is syncing up with the cloud, cloud even the public or private. If you see error 61 connection refused, I've seen that in the lab while I was setting this up. Mostly it was at the time when I had an issue with the certificate. So I put some of the item list here in the checklist. This is not a comprehensive list, but some of the items you can check. If we are not able to sync up or if you're not seeing these are these messages the file analysis services initiated successfully you're seeing anything other than that do make sure the certificate from the thread grid appliance is being loaded to WSA appliance correctly an unknown file is not scanned by pre-classification pre-classification the trusted files and then the engine object scanning limits the default is 32 meg so essentially what that is, actually it's right here. So the object is scanning, the file, even for file analysis, it's also applies to file analysis, is 32 here. Um, so that's the default. If the files are bigger, I believe the limit is 104 meg. So that can be changed here and do a submit and commit. But out of the box, it's set to 32 meg. And that's what it's referring to. Again, the updating the WSA with the certificate from uh, Threadgrid Appliance is important. And also verify the DNS name of Threadgrid Appliance if you're using the DNS host name are listed in the key um, file. Some of the references are listed here um, and also a tech zone article as well. This is all on Cisco.com, um, most of the uh, documentation which are extremely useful and goes in a lot more detail. 
So that brings us to the review. So advanced malware protection had added a functionality for thread grid appliance that could be for local for public cloud or private cloud. The documentation will be listed here once the release is available for um, larger customer base. And starting this functionality is for support at 8.8033 build. Public cloud is pretty straightforward from the GUI. Anti-malware and reputation, edit global setting, advanced setting, and choose this pre-populated once you enable this feature. File type can be chose or or few out of this. For our private cloud, it requires to configure the host name or the IP address, upload the certificate from ThreadGrid Appliance. You obtain a certificate from here under SSL keys. Once that part is done, once you upload the certificate, submit, commit, then we need to register this appliance on this URL, fill out the name, the email address, and the base ID, which we saw um, under. Advanced protection file analysis client ID. It's the ID right here. <clears throat> so the last part is to activate, login, go under manage users, locate the users here box, login, then it's gonna should say deactivate, make sure reactivate the user here fill out the rest of the content and if you have alert set up you fire up an alert once you all sync up you should set file analysis service initiated uh, initialize successfully and also the file upload analysis example here and then analysis complete and these are the log entries and some of the stuff we can uh, check what we need to just to make sure a couple of them are critical one make sure the Certificate has been loaded on the web security appliance and also the host name is configured properly on the keys and documentation. With that, thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day, have a great afternoon, have a great evening, and see you in another knowledge base. Once again, this is Zach from Content Security Team. Thank you. Bye bye.